What a wonderful piece. Uh, we want to, of course, thank very much uh, Bean Benders and all the crew involved. Uh, and I would like to welcome on stage back Takuma Takasaki, co-writer and producer. <laughs> and the wonderful Koji Yakusho. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, so uh, I've heard that this part was wrote especially for Koshi Yakusho. And um, how was your preparation? Hi, <laughs> え、so I'm just so grateful that uh, Takuma and Vim Benders wrote such a wonderful script for me. Um, I'm extremely blessed, and the most important thing in preparation was to learn how to clean the toilets properly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talking about writing, um, I know it was a quite fast process of writing. How was it to work with Vim Benders, and how was that uh, working on the script and how was the construction? えっと、最初にあの、ベンダースと話した so when I first spoke with them, we had discussed doing a fictional character, a fictional existence uh, in the form of a documentary. で、あの、脚本の、ま、脚本はものすごくあの、セリフが少ない脚本なので、あの、僕の娘は、お父さんはあんまり仕事してないんじゃないかって思ってると思うんですけど。セリフが少ない。セリフが少ない。あ、ビ
男というのはどういう人だろうと思いながら、えー、撮影をしていましたがでもその撮影をまあさっき高崎さんが言いましたけどドキュメンタリーのようにほとんどテストなく、えー、本番だけを繰り返して撮ってましたので自分がまるでそこで生活を毎日していくような撮影でしたまあそれを撮影しながらやっぱりその瞬間瞬間はもう二度と自分の中には訪れない時間が過ぎ去っていくけどもでもこの瞬間瞬間を大切に生きようというふうになんとなく自分では心がけて演じました。Um, there were very few lines、um, in this beautiful, beautiful script.、Um, but to get closer to the character, I really just thought about how he cleans these toilets every day.、Um, he goes to the forest and he eats his sandwich. He takes a bath and then he goes home. He reads a book that he loves and he goes to sleep. And so thinking about this man and, and just pondering who he really is during the shoot was really where I did a majority of, of the work that you were asking me about. Um, but as Takuma said, this was like a documentary in a way because there were no rehearsals. We would just shoot,、um, we would go straight into shooting takes. And、um, it was as if I was just living as him.、Um, and as we were shooting, I knew that every moment was not going to be repeated. So I just cherished every moment. And、um, I think that's what you see on screen. And is the routine a shelter for this character? Shelter? Shelter from pain, from the past, from. So, this is the same thing. I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that i 目に入ってくるもの耳に聞こえてくるものは毎日違うわけですからそれは彼にとっては毎日毎日が新鮮な気持ちで生きていける、まあ、そういうなんでしょうね彼自身がそういうものを受け止めて豊かに、えー、心が動くような感性を持っている人だと思います。だから毎日が彼にとってはとても幸せなことだったと思います。でまあ、特にあの平山の過去を唯一知っているその親族と後半出会いますけども、まあ、彼の心は大きくこうあの動きますけどもでもそれによって彼はさらに何か自由で。なんか豊かな人生を今後送るんじゃないかなと思いました。So um, the answer is yes, maybe in a way,、um, but I think what I found is that it seems like in his repetition、um, of everyday life, he still sees and hears things、um, different every day, and so every day is really fresh for him, and he feels that these things. Um, really reach him, and I think he's moved on a daily basis by the really subtle changes that he experiences. And that's just who he is.、Um, he's a very happy person, and especially when his past sort of comes to,、um, to greet him in the form of his family,、um, he's moved really profoundly. And I think、um, he's even further、um, cast into sort of. Uh, the depths of who he is, and he's, he's much freer at that, at that time. It's interesting you both mentioned the idea of documentary、uh, because, in a way, it is a document of、uh, Tokyo, of a certain places,、uh, of a certain rituals,、uh, but at the same time, the film. Has a fictional aspect,、uh, even when it was shot as a documentary. And、um, I was thinking of the dreams. Could you comment on the dreams aspects? I 
さっき役所さんが言ったみたいにあの平山ってあのそうせざるを得なくて追い込まれてこの暮らしをしてるんじゃなくておそらく自分でポジティブにこういう暮らしをあの選んでしてるんだと思うんですよね。でえっと、彼のそのそ一日一日がやっぱり満たされていてその満たされた思いっていうのがあの毎日出てくる夢のシークエンスにあの表現されてるんじゃないかなと思います。Uh, this was touched on earlier、uh, by、uh, Koji, but from Hirayama, he, it wasn't that he was forced to live that kind of existence.、Um, I believe that it was on his own that he positively、uh, chose to live that kind of life.、Um, and in terms of his daily existence,、uh, every day for him is fulfilling.、Um, so I think that feeling is reflected in the dream sequences.、Uh, that's an expression of what he's feeling. And、um, very structurally,、uh, And very enjoyable.、Uh, the music is there from the beginning to the end. And、uh, I was wondering if、uh, those inclusions were written or were something uh, the specific uh, songs were decided、uh, once you were editing. あの、映画におけるあの、ビムベンダースってすごいなと思ったのが平山が聴いてる音楽以外は使わないっていうふうに、えー、とある段階で決めたことですねだからあの何か感情を説明するも音楽をそこに入れるんじゃなくてで平山が聴いてるもの平山が見てるものを僕たちは見るっていうなんかそこの線をきちんとあの弾いたっていう、まあ、それがベンダースのすごいあのディレクションだなっていうふうに思います。Um, so, it was actually、uh, part of it at the stage of the script.、Uh, I'm sure everyone here knows, but Finn Vendors,、uh, in terms of his inclusion of music、uh, in his works, I would say that he's probably、uh, the world's leading director、uh, in terms of that technique.、Um, but what we actually discussed almost on a daily basis is what would Hirayama be listening to? What kind of music、um, would he be a fan of?、Um, and based on that, we together chose the songs that would be in the film. Um, so, at the time of、uh, script writing, we basically had a list of what that music would be. It was included.、Um, but something that was probably the most surprising or the most incredible that I thought、um, was that, in terms of the list of music that Hirayama would listen to,、um, he said that we would not use any music that Hirayama,、uh, the person or the character,、uh, would not listen to.、Um, at a certain point, he made that decision. And it wasn't that、um, he didn't want to put in the music as a, a way to explain his emotional state. It really was what he would actually be listening to.、Um, he drew this line, this distinction, very clearly. And it was at that point that I、uh, thought that that was an amazing、uh, direction that he gave us. And、uh, this music uh, somehow uh, belongs very much to. To all of us, but to a certain generation, most especially. And the film、uh, talks uh, about、uh, a dialogue between two generations or a different、uh, way of approaching work, life, observing nature, having a different rhythm.、Um, and this、uh, is to both of you.、Um, was there a certain idea of、uh, melancholy of the past, certain criticism of the present? Or, or how was、uh, the way to find the tonality? And in, in the conception of the whole film, I mean, in the music is clear that belongs to. なんかあのー、平山っていう存在と同じように何かを否定することでこう僕たちはストーリーを作ったり映画を作ったりっていうことは一切多分なかったと思いますですごくポジティブな気持ちで
、えー、と平山っていう存在に向き合ってたしあの僕らが作為を持って平山っていう人間像を作ったっていうよりはそこにいる人をあの丁寧に取材するように作っていったので。そういうあの対立の構造の中で平山の人間像を作っていくっていう意識はあまりなかったですね。Um, so in terms of、um, for approaching、uh, the existence of、uh, Hirayama in the same way,、uh, it wasn't that we were trying to、um, Create a sort of story or to create this portrait of him、um, that, where he's rejecting certain things or criticizing certain things. It was more of a positive portrayal、um, in terms of how he lived his life and his actual existence itself.、Um, so it wasn't that we were intending to、uh, sort of create this、um, agenda or anything like that. We were actually very carefully、um, following him, almost as if you would like an interview subject, looking at him as a person and what he would do.、Um, but again, there was nothing intentional in trying to create this contrast、um, or criticism. そうですね僕はまあ初めて完成した映画を見た時に思ったことはあやっぱり平山さんみたいな生き方っていうかもう平山っていうのは何もその財産みたいなものは何も持ってないけれども,もう最低限の生活で非常に日々満足をして眠りにつけるという。人物ですけどもまあほとんど、まあ、東京やニューヨークもそうでしょうけどもお金さえあればいろんなものが手に入るけども、えー、手に入れてもまだ満足をしてすることをがない僕を含めて生活をしている人が多いと思うんですけどもそういう中で平山さんは何かこのコンクリートだらけの,その大都会の中でも。一人だけこうテレビもなくてインターネットもなくて彼に情報が入ってくるのは彼の耳と目で見えるものだけなんですけれども何でしょうね彼はなんか大都会で森の中で非常に心地よく住んでるような感じがしたのでああ都会の人たちがあこんな生き方そういえばあるなって思ってくるといいなと思いました。When I、uh, first saw the film completed,、um, I saw Hirayama's life and I thought, wow, he really has you know, no fortune, nothing to you know, go by his name, but He goes to sleep every night extremely satisfied. And in Tokyo or New York,、um, in any big city, you can basically buy anything that you want in terms of material possessions.、Um, but it's not where you find satisfaction. And seeing Hirayama in this concrete city、um, with no TV, no internet, he just sees and hears what naturally comes into his life. And it's like he's living in this very pleasant forest, even though he's living in the middle of a massive city. And、um, I was just impressed and taken by、uh, how he lives and just kind of, yeah, felt myself, felt myself fall into thought of like, wow, this is, there is a way to live in this way in a city. It's very interesting. You mentioned this、uh, contrast between the material life and world, the consumism. And the spiritual aspect that the film shows us. And maybe the most emblematic character for this is the homeless, played by Min Tanaka.、Um, could you comment on、uh, this character and with this amazing actor? I <laughs> あのホームレスは現実に存在するのかわからないですけども平山には見えてるのかなとも思ったりもしましたあ大体その普通に生活しているその都会の人たちは見て見ぬふりして見えないものとしてあの自分で処理している,いる人が多いと思うんですけども平山は彼のことをとても見えてるし
だからこそあのホームレスはあの平山が大好きな平山にとって大切な木漏れ日というのをダンスで見せてくれてたんだと僕は思ってました、えー、田中美優さんとしという人は本当に素晴らしいダンサーでありもう最近は俳優としてもすごく活躍してらっしゃいますけど僕は本当に尊敬するアーティストだと思ってます I would say、um, Hirayama sees this homeless man,、um, but maybe he actually doesn't exist in reality.、Um, most people、um, see homeless people but pretend not to see them. And I think、uh, Hirayama is able to see him, and he has this special connection with him because、um, this man sort of expresses、uh, Komorebi, which is the light that trickles through the, the leaves of the trees. And casts a shadow, and、um, through his dancing, sort of expresses what Komorebi is. And so I think、um, Min Tanaka is, is an absolutely incredible dancer and actor, someone that I really respect deeply. Well, with this poetic note,、uh, I think we have to wrap, unfortunately. But before that, a very big applause. Thank you very much. Thank you.